get your squeakiness out. Squeaky. <laughs> like a baby in a high chair or <laughs> something. <laughs> Just <laughs> unbelievable bacon salmon shot. Yeah. I got one yesterday from a place called Croc Monsieur. Oh, yeah. Go into the wall, yeah? Mm hmm. Yeah, get an nice. extra large one. They put a little bit of their special pepper on it. Mm -hmm. Special pepper. It's not speed. It's actually pepper with ketchup. Mm. Magnifique. I had their Cumberland ring sandwich. It worked. Oh, mate. Worth a try as well worth if you like try. sausage, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice. Uh, Sorry, Wilson. I forgot you were there. Hello everyone, and welcome to Cinema Tree, our podcast horror review thingy about sequels and remakes, probably, most of the time. It's also about Funhouse. A whole lot of fun. Prizes to be won. I'm Chris, and uh, I'm joined this week by Dave. Hello! And by Rob. Hello, Chris Wilson. How are you both doing on this fine Sunday morning when we're recording? On the Sabbath. On good. The Sabbath. Yeah, yeah very good. well. How are you, Dave? Managed to find some just about in date milk to make a coffee. Well, well done. I've uh, swung by Cafe Nero. Mm. Other vendors are available on my way here. And yes. uh, I've got a bucket of coffee. Mm. And good. Uh, I went to the Weatherspoons. No other restaurants available ever. Yeah, Willie got up early. Went to the Weatherspoons around the corner. Yeah. What time did you get up? <coughs> about 10, 10 to 8. Day. Oh, yeah, okay. Same time as me. I wish I had a Weatherspoons around the corner. Yeah. I've got oh. a cafe that's pretty dodgy oh was it for those cafe yeah they just undercook the bacon which bothers me mm. yeah hang on now doesn't that give you like worms or some shit probably pasty bacon it's not for me uh, it has to be crispy yes, be crisp bacon yeah yeah, yeah of course it yeah, is yeah absolutely speaking of now nah, I've not even got a segue there this week's film speaking of undercooked <laughs> 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 speaking of pasty bacon yeah, uh, this uh, time we're reviewing Paranormal Activity 2. Oh. Uh. Right, Willie. Right. Why you done do this thing? What? <laughs> why you done do this thing? <laughs> why? Why? Uh, to film me? Because I couldn't think of anything else and I just thought it would be a really funny idea to go through a film where basically nothing happens for half of it. So I'd have to describe most of it. And therefore, my job as a host has been vastly reduced, and uh, I can half-ass it as always. The problem is there, we accidentally, sometimes if we've not seen these things, we all pick a trio of films where nothing actually happens in them. Yeah. Uh, and in the last three episodes, we've... It's going to happen. I think we've imagined things happening in yeah. the which, but I'm not entirely sure if anything did happen. I could have mm. been just looking at Static for two hours. We've gone down a really fucking weird rabbit warren, basically, over yes. the last sort of three episodes, and I don't know if there's any coming back at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've not finished my coffee yet, so I'm feeling a bit negative. That's probably why. I don't think that's going to change when you finish that coffee, is it? <sighs> I'm hopeful. It's a very good, it's a damn fine cup of coffee. Yeah. yeah. Well, my Latino housemaid is going to turn up at some point and start burning some incense and shit to pep you up a bit. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And start muttering to herself. You mean the dramatically convenient Latino maid? You mean my horror movie cliche of the week? Yeah, Latino 100%. Maid. As soon as she turned up, my reaction was this. Oh, oh there fuck's we go. sake. <sighs> <laughs> Catholic alarm goes off that that dad's installed. Yeah. That dad who's fucking mad about everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that, you know, in the fog where in the soundtrack there's that little bell in the background that goes ding, ding. Ding ding! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was going off in my head when she walked in. The <laughs> <A> little <laughs> an <laughs> alarm system. Yeah, made yeah, out exactly. of John Carpenter's clapping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the trip wires everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and uh, just to go a bit more into detail, obviously this is based on the strange phenomenon of Paranormal Activity One, which made a shitload of money. I don't know how for mid two thousands. Or weird for horror films. Yeah, like yes, this just is. Um, w would you say that this franchise is the resurgence after Blair Witch of found footage? And in terms of the mainstream, obviously it's happening all over the place. Yeah. But I guess this is when it came back again. Obviously, 
I suppose it did, because there wasn't anything between 98 and 2008 was the first Paranormal Activity. Yeah, there, there, yeah. Yeah, there, sure. there were some mainstream releases, but it was all sort of um, kind of by the wayside, to be honest. Mm. It was like, oh, look, it's just someone ripping off Blair Witch. That's never going to take off again. And obviously Paranormal Activity yeah. came it, along and smashed it. Because there was that lull in just in horror in general, wasn't there? In, yeah. yeah. It was in, kind in of the early 2000s. <clears throat> this was kind of like the third wave, really, mm-hmm. of fan footage films. So the first wave, I guess, is stuff like... Um, was it Cannibal Holocaust in the early 90s? Was that nice? Or late 80s, somewhere okay. around there. Yeah, yeah. That was sort of the f- the first real fan footage film, and there's lots of controversy over it to the point where people thought it was so real that in Italy, yeah, yeah. when it was made, um, the director had to bring the lead actor to court to prove that he'd not actually murdered yeah. them. Mm-hmm. Although he did kill an animal, he did camera. kill an animal on camera, yeah. which we do not condone. No, no. and I think the unless it's tasty, unless it's tasty. <laughs> the Legend of Boggy Creek from the seventies, yeah, which is yeah. a mixture of fan footage and. Yeah, I've tried watching that. It is, it is pretty shocking, though. So yeah, and then we had Blair Witch, obviously. Yep. Um, and then <coughs> we had yeah, we, then we had Paranormal Activity mm-hmm. and films that followed it, cinematic classics such mm-hmm. as the Chernobyl Diaries. <laughs> Chernobyl. Chernobyl. If, any, if anyone's seen it, it's more like the Shit Noble Diaries. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking not great. Oh dear me. Is that a who? Oh. oh. It's a tired one. I suppose at the same time as Paranormal Activity, you've got the infinitely superior Wreck. Yes, yes, you do. Yes. Wreck 2, which is decent. And then if you fancy uh, a little bit less paella and more fish and chips, you can have Quarantine 1 and 2. You can, yeah. I think Wreck might have been the year before Paranormal Activity. I would have to check that, but I think Wreck was 2007. Okay. But obviously because it's in Spanish, it's not very popular. Yeah, it doesn't mm-hmm. count if it's in a different language. No. no. Even though it's an infinitely better film. Infinitely. Have you seen Wreck, Wilson? I've not actually, no. Fucking amazing. Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Check it out. Mm. Just a relentless joyride that grabs you by the penis and doesn't let go. I remember seeing your quote from my poster. No, yes. in, until you're in a similar state to Stan's dad in South Park, where you're just very tired and covered in fluids. <laughs> right, shall we crack into it then? Yes. Be better. Dive into this yeah. portal. It just uh, as a warning, uh, when I uh, was watching this, because again, this is on Netflix, makes it very easier. I don't have to buy anything. It's wonderful. Don't, don't They're all on Netflix, aren't they? I've noticed a theme yes. with your picks. I yeah. <laughs> well, this is since uh, when I downloaded it in dodgy circumstances and I got a bollocking off Sky for downloading because apparently it's killing the British creative industries yeah. by doing that. Which I work in, so boo! <laughs> so, <laughs> it's uh, so Dave. on effects. Sorry guys, uh, just to let you know, Chris Wilson downloaded it this week, uh, which means we're docking all fucking pay from you. <laughs> Dave's having to live, you know, behind the bins around the back this week yes mate I'm really uh, yeah. feeling that Hewlett Packard have kind of just cut off our contract yeah. and said sorry mate Chris Wilson downloaded yeah. it so uh, Chris Wilson downloaded this film sorry this £10 million film is now cancelled yes yeah no mind yeah. boo yeah. but me and Rob paid for it in the cinema basically for you so. I also yeah. bought it on Blue Rizzle so I guess you covered well Paranormal Activity 2 no it's oh, oh, yeah. I was about to say why would you buy Paranormal Activity 2 whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Fucking go. Do oh, not accu- You can accuse me of anything you like. Do not accuse me of buying Paranormal Activity 2 on DVD or Blu ray. <laughs> as I was saying, uh, as a precursor, uh, the Netflix description on this. <laughs> now, when you're normally describing a family, or like introducing pronouns, you, surely you do it like father, mother, kids, doggo. But yes. here, for some reason, they've gone father, daughter, uh, mother, Doggo baby. So if I get the names the wrong way around, it's because I took the notes of the description first thing and then got completely confused. So that's fair enough. Apologies. At this, at this point, I'm going to introduce a little something we're going to do throughout to simulate my enjoyment of the Paranormal Activity franchise. Is it a drinking game? Uh, basically, just to kind of like bring things down real slow, real slow, real, just absolutely nothing happening. Just kind of like what's going on. Here? Yeah. It's a bit it's a bit like you're sort of chatting you along, chatting along, chatting along, yeah. chatting along, chatting along. For benefit chat of the listeners, I just knocked something off Dave's shelf. Oh. 
Motherfucker. That's been close to my notebook. Oh, You've shit. lost your page, you willy. I know I have. You silly oh, willy. There's going to be more filler in this one in the film. Oh, Spoilers. That's so, a lot. Yes. So, the film begins with a family returning home with Hunt of a Baby, which I thought Hunt was named the dog. It turns out it's Abby is the dog. Yeah, Hunter yeah. is uh, the child. Well, why would you call your kid Hunter? I don't know. Maybe they must be the big fella gladiators. Oh, you've just fucking took yes! words out of my oh, mouth. Oh, Motherfucker. Dear. Preempted. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Hunter was from York. That's a fun fact for you. He was, yeah. I've out here for like ten years after gladiator. <laughs> gladiator. He, he was in the news recently for lifting a rather heavy rock in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't it, part of fucking Stonehenge, was it? But it, it's now like a world record hoard for lifting a rock in Scotland. Just all these little old Scottish women yeah. can't get to the post office because some mean old bastards put a big rock in front of it. <laughs> it's like, oh, better call Hunter. <laughs> I got a fucking hair with it. Ah, you fucking shit, did you? You know that Wolf put it there, though. Yeah. Absolutely, just to be spiteful. He was like the biggest fucking heel in the world, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. Boo! Yeah. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> so we. Uh, uh, get a bit of house geography, which I'm sure you, you quite like, Dave. I was enjoying that, to be fair. Yeah, yeah but yeah, you read, yeah. it was very, slightly forced, but I think we did a good job of saying, okay, this is there, this is there, this is them. It was, it was extremely unnecessary. <laughs> it was like, uh, how do we keep Dave happy? Right, let's take this baby that can't even understand anything on a tour around the house with a camera. Yeah. Baby in one arm, camera in another. Look, baby, this is the basement. Ooh. <laughs> take him. Not tonight if he's sleeping, but I want to take him all the tour of the house. Okay. Here he's come. not sleeping. That's Abby. He's going to be your best friend. Bye, sweetie. This is a fireplace. This is how Mommy seduced Daddy. Oh. And that's how we got you. And that's why you're watching this video at 25. Is your room... There's your crib, it's a little sparse right now, just got some caterpillar action going on. Hunter, see? Pretty cool. This is your sister's trashed room. Yeah, check her Oh, there she is. What's up, brother from another mother? What? No, Hunter's in. You're never allowed to come in here, ever, unless I invite you. In which case, it's going to be the best day of your life. Oh, and by the way, that's my bathroom. Don't ever go in there. It's and that's bathroom. half your bathroom? It's, it's actually bathroom. my bathroom. Because I bought it and I let my dog... All that is mine! Don't be on my seat! This is a living room that no one ever uses. Hey, somebody left the front door open! Here's Doggo. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a pool cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Two things happened early doors here. Mm. that meant I was in trouble straight away. No, no. So, you might remember when um, <coughs> Mr. Wilson here on the previous episode told us we were watching this, I said, mm. oh, I think I've seen the first one and the third one and one of the really shit later ones. Yeah, yeah. Don't think I've ever seen the second one. Right. Started watching it, saw the baby was in it and realised this was the one that I'd seen and I thought it was the third one. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, shit. And then my mood was darkened further by the uh, bolted on... Nanny from uh, a Latina background. It <laughs> was just unnecessary. Yes, just kind of walking around and muttering, and it just doesn't need to be that close to a Family Guy parody, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very <coughs> awkward racial stereotype there. Yeah. yeah. Has to be said. Well, probably a bit more cultural, to be fair, but yeah, still, you know, I, th I think I, there's, there's some nice bonding elements where she doesn't fully speak English. So there's like a nice little sort of language barrier that makes it hard for her to explain herself yeah. to the world's angriest dad. Uh, but there's some nice bonding sequences where she's like making friends with the women in the family, which I think is quite cute. Yeah. And she's yeah. totally quite close to the baby as well. And I thought, no, I'll let it pass. I'll let it pass unless she whips out some incense. Oh, mm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of uh, a baby and not cute and crying and such, uh, the... Hunter cries right away, and this is a Kevin theme during the film. Mm. If there's nothing more I hate, it's the sound of a baby crying. And he yeah. is one high pitched little shit, isn't he? He yeah, is, yeah. yeah. And the the thing that bothered me, <coughs> like <coughs> early doors, is I don't even know if I followed him right. <coughs> and this upon my have with throughout the franchise, but especially in this film, for some reason, I find it particularly difficult. Is they did a really decent job of establishing the geography of the house. Yeah, yeah, very nice. And then they established the family and the extended family. Mm -hmm. 
and they're fucking all completely indistinguishable from each other. Yeah, yeah. Like, they, they even wear the same fucking, like, the sisters wear pretty much the same vest top and shorts combo. Mm. Yep. And I just can't fucking tell who's and who. when you watch it through a grainy CCTV, you're like, is that, is that, okay. <laughs> I got, I got very confused, but, <clears throat> so, we uh, quickly go to a barbecue where the sister Katie is there, and uh, Katie, if I remember rightly, because I'm not with she's been in like eight years. She's in the first yeah, one. Yeah, 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 she, yeah, she's in the first one, you yeah. know, it's all going to tie back later on. Yes. Ooh, and plot in. Horrendously and, dull boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. It's another, it's more more of this, um, as we were discussing in the previous episode, bolted on universe bollocks. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> where everything has to be related to everything else. Mm-hmm. Shit can't just happen because it happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although, speaking of shit does happen, for say happening, they have a barbecue, they pet the doggo a bit. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Ten minutes later, we finally get to uh, a quick cut to a couple of weeks or maybe the next day where there's been a bit of a burglary. But yeah. the people of Burgled haven't taken anything. Oh. Apart true. from uh, Katie's necklace. Ooh. Oh, they're in the necklace, right? Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Literally, that's the only thing we go, oh, this is missing. Oh, right, okay. But the whole house is trashed. Yeah, the whole house is trashed. The TVs are smashed, pots and pans everywhere. You it's know, crazy. It's tragic. So, I might say, that's a little bit contrived. Ooh. Sorry, listeners. Yeah. Sorry. The, my issue with this is that the, the demon thing fucks up this house big time, absolutely annihilates the house. And then for the next maybe 40 minutes, just kind of fucks around with a pool cleaner. Maybe knocks a teacup over now and again. It starts off big. And don't yeah. get me wrong, it's quite a nice little spooky sequence, I think. They come back to the house and it's just completely trashed. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but then it's kind of like a bit of a come down after that. Yeah. Uh, it's basically yeah. just a bit of a ghost prankster, isn't he? Because <laughs> then you get a scene with, this is where I start getting the names wrong. Is it... Christy, that's for mother. I think so, yeah. And you're like, you know, with Hunter, picks it up. Oh, the baby chair falls over, but it's done in a way where she thinks, oh, the this baby's called something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was right. a couple of nice little bits, like in, in these first mm-hmm. sort of introductory sequences. Like, there's a scene where the baby cries and she goes in to sort of console it, and its little toy above its bed just starts rotating. Yeah. yeah. And then when they come back through from the ensuite bathroom, but it yeah. stops like little touches like that are quite nice. It works so, best with subtlety, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then on the other hand, you get someone who's taken a shit in the toilet, and they don't know who's done it. <laughs> like, okay, why is that there? Yeah, fine. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's the that's kind of jokey, isn't it? It is. Yeah, but, 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 but is but, it implied that the demons done the shit? Yes, it is. Oh right, I just I just thought someone had no. Well, I, I I think because it wouldn't be really explained. I think the idea was yeah, it's taking a shit in the toilet. That's fucking for, funny for the Lord. <laughs> That's fucking funny. That is, I did not get that. I just thought someone had done a shit and the dad was being a douche. That's yeah. some fucking scary movie shit, isn't it? That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. Surely, if being mischievous, you'd take a shit on a coffee table, wouldn't you? Yes, man. <laughs> that's, that's or in the pots and pans. <laughs> That'd be my go-to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can we you get the payoff uh, on that if you're shat in them pots and pans when they all come down yeah, like yeah, they're all just shit mess. flies everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, we uh, need to uh, stop and talk about who the fuck this family are, just real briefly. Um, okay, right. let's give this one a go. Uh, the fuck does that dad do to only work one day every year <laughs> to afford that house? Uh, I know he's got like a little laptop bag at one point. That's about all I can say. Cyber hacker? About. Cyber hacker. Yeah. He's actually Neo from the Matrix. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cyber do people even say cyber anymore? <laughs> Cyberspace. Cyber hacker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he seems to be at home quite a lot. Just fucking about. Yeah. Yeah. And relentlessly punching above his weight. But yes. Uh I don't get what he does to afford this house. I don't. No. And he needs to seem to conveniently need to go to work. Whenever something really bad is going down, yeah. Like, oh, you, your baby's been stabbed. Oh, I've really got to go to this meeting. I'll be back in two hours. Just make sure he don't fall over. Yeah, nothing. Will, nothing. Everything will be fine while I'm not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> contrived bollocks, mate. Contrived bollocks. <laughs> Can't cope with it. So it's, after the uh, speaking of contrived, uh, then there's like a little bit because we're still. I mean, because of a burglary, we've installed the CCTV mm-hmm. cameras. So now we've got our established six shots, I believe it is. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But, but then, for some reason as well, because obviously you don't put a camera in the bathroom, we have a bit where 
uh, Dan is filming her wife, uh, his wife in the bath, and we're just talking. Yeah. Do we really want to have that tape laying around in case there's a nipple? That is, that is uh, <clears throat> it's a very strange thing to film. Like, you've got videos of, like, oh, look, baby going around the house, oh, baby mm. meeting your sister, you want to smash? Yeah. <laughs> Very, very jarring. And yes. Very out of place. You can smash, but you're going to have to take your awful shorts off. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Dan's a pornographer. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. What I'll say is, in defence of the... Before it gets too indefensible, in defence <laughs> of the uh, repetitious six shots, yeah. it does have you scanning the screen for shit that might be going on. Mm. Which is where... It Gets most of it scares from. Yeah, that's exactly. why I find. I'm just going to throw this out there now. I do quite enjoy these films. Don't get me wrong, they are absolute dumpster garbage. Yeah, they are shit, and they function the same way as like you know the Dracula experience in Whitby. Yeah, it's absolute fucking. It's a hot mess. Yeah, it's so bad. But like, someone in a cheap screen mask jumps out at you in the dark, and it makes me jump. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's that whole thing, isn't it? I mean, I think my, my issue with it is that when it gets going, mm-hmm. it's really good. It's yeah, actually yeah. quite good, and it's there's some really effective scares. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, But it don't get going until it's 20 minutes left of the film, yeah, mate. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think my issue with it, I mean, I really like the idea of basically this static shot of things are happening mm-hmm. within instead of the camera moving around. Mm-hmm. But it's very difficult to transition from one night to the next so that's why you get a lot of filler Mm -hmm. in these films because they've never really figured out how you move from one night to the next without it yeah without having to have a shitload of text on the screen well it's a signpost you have to yeah yeah, yeah. you have to so they have to have bits in between and uh, it's, it's just like, storytelling isn't it yeah, yeah it's just yeah, yeah. so copy and paste like it's yeah. literally copy and paste oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah like they literally copy and paste like day three august third what have you 2008 yeah, yeah. you know all, all that shit i mean yeah. it must have took him like 10 days to shoot this film because yeah, yeah. like the security cam footage of the pool in the front of the house apart from right at the end it's the same shot mm. Yeah, essentially, yeah, and the front door shot as well. It's just, yeah, it's just yeah. a repetition of this. So they, they only probably shot it once. Yes. And just kept yeah. cutting it in. Yeah. Mm. I was uh, slightly peeved when Mika turns up from the first film. Yeah. And his first introduction, when you see him in the kitchen, just like making a fucking sandwich for himself, minding his own business, it's like, ooh, Mika, 60 days before he died. Yeah. I was going to comment about right? you didn't know. <laughs> I was going to comment about like, the uh, text that comes off the screen. It's just like, yeah. what is it, fucking Tarantino film? Like, with chapter, <laughs> chapter two, the death of Mika slow yes, in 60 <laughs> days. Just that fucking bullshit career text over everything. Yeah. yeah. Like a default programming font. A typewriter font. Yeah, yeah. I think my issue, my issue with these films and my issue in a sense with, with all found footage films I, I, I honestly think that the only film that's found footage films ever managed to do this effectively is the Blair Witch Project mm-hmm. is every time one of them starts they all have the same fucking found footage disclaimer including this one mm-hmm. and they all have those little things like the however many days before Mika died and all that mm-hmm. shit realistically if you're looking at this film in, in, in the way that they want you to, as it is a documentary of events, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. then you're watching snuff and no one would ever release it, and I don't understand yeah, that yeah. concept. They always have the uh, discovery, oh, I'd like to thank the authorities, thank you FBI yeah, for releasing yeah. this footage, and we've <laughs> spliced it all together. Yeah, Just yeah. Like, if ever I work on a found footage film, which is a bit too much, and they send me the rough edit, and it comes with that disclaimer at the start that says the following actually legitimately happened on it. Mm. I'm like, I'll work on it, but that's going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take that out yeah. and send it back. And normally they they agree because they've just like they've seen it in like, so many films. They put it in for the sake of it. Yeah. It's like no, no, no. Just just do a, a an intro that will hook people. Yeah. Stop that's, with the. It's only that's only ever worked once, and that was the first time, and that was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh shit! Yeah, that's what, yeah, yeah. yeah you fair know. enough. <coughs> and that's obviously that's not a true story, but it is based on some events of Ed Gein's yes background. And but that's the 70s, so it definitely gets a pass. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Anywho, we digress. Sorry, Wilson. I don't know. Really, just a load of filler to go with a filler. <laughs> filler, <laughs> filler, 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 filler. Well, yeah. I'm looking through my notes, I'm not even sure where I go next uh, with this one. We've got 
a load of uh, footage from three o'clock in the morning where the babies stood up, mm -hmm. seemingly interacting with someone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, the dog goes downstairs, awfully interested in the spooky door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, barking at the basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bar bar barking at the spooky door in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Dull. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking dull cliche shit. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think as a single wished up thing going on yeah. here. I like the, uh, I think the baby is acting quite well in this. And I think the doggo is very good in this. Yeah. I think the doggo is brilliant when there's nothing happening. But the doggo just like suddenly wakes up and starts looking at something. Yeah. And again, you're looking for stuff that's happening on the screen. Yeah. But obviously the payoff isn't there. I would just like, I want 5% more. Yeah, that's Not all it needs. Not more at all. Just yeah, yeah. a little bit more. Just, to, just to tell me something. That's... Bloody hell, Dave. It's only a doggo. It, you know, it can only... So acting image is only so much. It's a well-paid doggo. Yeah. And the Academy Award goes to... Doggo! Woof, woof. Woof, 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 woof. It goes to... Woof, woof, woof. Save the environment. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> But no, the dog is quite good, and I guess it kind of ties into that whole thing about animals and spirits, doesn't it, a little bit? Yeah, yeah, and the same with kids as well, yeah. that they can see shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the next big scene is another one of the uh, late at night with a baby inside yeah. of something, and here comes our, uh, well, it's Martina, the, our maid. <laughs> she, she senses spirits, so she like picks up a baby, uh, takes it, uh, takes it into the kitchen, yep. starts wafting incense sticks around, and gets yeah, yeah. caught for it. Yeah. And so, in a case of quite clear racial discrimination, she yep. gets the sack. For uh, yes, which is case numero uno of the dad being an unnecessary dick. <laughs> Me entiende. Nadie está a salvo, especialmente. Yo no creo, Martín, ok? I told you. Okay? Sí. No creemos. Para like not have that stuff in my house, ok? Ok. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So at this point, it turns from like a bit of a fucking knob to you, you actually a total fucking cunt, and I hope you die. Yeah, yeah. In this situation. Mm -hmm. Not just because we know that, you know, there is actually genuine spooks happening in this spook house. Yeah. But, oh shit, yeah, this is a spook house, isn't it? I can say that loads now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like, it's just unnecessary to get her out of the way to just shove the rest of the film yeah. forward. Yeah. Exactly. And then, in the sequence immediately following that, we get the first instance of this film making me mad, mate. Oh no, what happened? Fucking night vision shit, mate. <laughs> don't fucking do this. Don't, no. don't, be, don't be that... Fucking dull and unoriginal. Do you know what I mean? Just like you seen. We're, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're already treading water in the most tedious way. Don't do this to. It, well, it was a different time of like when you you spy your standard camera, you know, from I don't know Dixon's or something. No. Uh, one of the features <laughs> would be night vision. <laughs> so turn a light on where you can see like two foot in front of you uh. through the LCD screen. Uh. Yeah. Uh. It was a different time for 2000s. Yeah, true. True. Um, night, I think it went up to night eight now. In my notes. Something like that. Somewhere like that, yeah. yeah. Uh, it it's was hard a, to tell because the kid's grown about half a foot, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> sort of, yeah, yes, yeah. We're sort, I think we're sort of getting towards kind of the halfway point. And I think this is about the fifth cut to the 
the the three sequential shots. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And it is at this point that I thought I've cracked it. Oh, here uh, comes another one of Rob's crazy theories. Yeah. The pool cleaner fucking did it. Yeah. Yes. It's I the, agree. It's the only logical conclusion I can come to. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think. Every day, every morning, you get the dad putting the pool cleaner back in the pool. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and Alan, I thought that was just like a standard operation for it. But I thought, I gathered that as the demon was just like, oh, what's this doing in here? And puts it on the side. Yeah. I figured that was... Yeah. That was supposed to be something spooky. It's like, what is this? Ooh. Yeah. But at the same time, your audience, like 99.9% of your audience don't even know what a fucking pool cleaner is. I'm sorry. No, no, I can't, I can't relate to that dad's problems. Well, that's it. Well, they, and because it's so like, because it's so fucking niche a yeah, thing, yeah. they actually have to do a scene where they explain it yeah. later on, where the dad's fucking like, "Look, you can fucking make the pool cleaner come out because I'm a wanker." Watch. <laughs> I mean, that's. I was going <coughs> to move on to that quickly because on day ten, a pan falls over. Ooh, and uh, also we uh, get a bit of a house fire as. I oh, yeah, we do, yeah. Yeah, it's just somewhere I know left some popcorn or something. You know, yeah, yeah. it turned off, but you know, our shit house demon in the heart. <laughs> shit house yeah. demon, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he I don't know, turns it back on, causes a fire, a smoke. Yeah, well, uh, the- Dan the dickhead has to come down and uh, put it out. Well, it's questionably, is it okay to say she's fit daughter is in the hot tub with her boyfriend? Yep. Yeah. And. Questionable. Question. So these two, <laughs> two, these two things happen, and the pool cleaner moves on its own. Yes. So bearing in mind, right, they've got a whole DVR system installed. Yeah. Okay. What is the one thing you should probably check in the day after to see what the fuck happened? I would check my very expensive DVR video system, Willie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but but for which bit, you know? Uh, I don't know. I probably um, I probably not bother actually. I just probably get mad at the women in the house. Yeah, that's pretty much what happens. <laughs> oh, and what he does do is he checks some of the pool cleaner moving, but he doesn't think to check about how the fire happened. Yes. Yeah. It's so like, like, the fuck is this? Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't mind, like, it, at my work, if someone farts in the wrong direction, I've got to check the DVR. <laughs> yeah. So, why the fuck, when you've just had a house fire, are you checking what happened? Yeah. I mean, where, yeah, at this point, like, for the next sort of 20 minutes, it's just like fucking cack-handed shit after cack-handed shit so just to dive back slightly the scene that it was immediately preceding the uh the dad being a dick about the pool clean a bit is yeah. a bird flies into the window straight out of pound, pound land fucking jump scare bullshit yes, territory right. and then the cut to the next day and he's fucking about with a dead bird he's Been such a, dick. a prick isn't he he's such a fucking bellend it's just like do you know what mate if you're supposed to be one of the fucking protagonists in this film give two shits yeah yeah unlikable wank yeah <laughs> <laughs> although we're, he does get a bit of a comeuppance uh, shortly after when he goes for a dive in the pool and uh, someone's turned the heating up which is fucking yeah. funny yeah. <laughs> dives in gets scorched <laughs> 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 yells at women in the house again yeah. it's their fault yeah so fucking funny he comes in the house so fucking mad like, he's just fucking lost a bet on the rugby or something. And he just sits there shouting at the table <laughs> whilst looking lobster pink. And everyone's just laughing at him, and I'm laughing at him. Yeah. Because he's such a bell end. goes up to his like 90 something. Give me something. Just like, please. Okay. You okay? God, boy, I'm going right now. Why is it actually that? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. It's an absolute joke. And the, the, we start getting introduced at this point to some, one of my favourite things about the film, mm. which is, it comes back to the DVR thing, Wilson, you were saying, is that his daughter keeps saying, we just fucking check the DVR. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, but I've got to, I've got to, I've got to cook these eggs. 
Uh, so I can't right now. It's like mm. all these fucking bullshit excuses. It's like, oh, I've got to go to work for the one time this week. I'll check it later. Dad, there's someone living in the basement. Will you fuck off? <laughs> I'm tying my shoes. <laughs> you can do it afterwards. <laughs> no! <laughs> I have two shoes to tie! <laughs> Alright, okay, well, I mean, maybe in about ten minutes you just come and have a little whistle upstairs. Just come and watch this expensive system you've installed. I'm worried that little Bobby might be in danger. I'll just fucking get Velcro, shall I? This is like, <laughs> an unwinnable situation with this absolute knob pickler. <laughs> That's a new one. Hashtag knob pickler. <laughs> fucking douchebag. I'm so happy when he gets eventually tagged. Spoilers. Oh, spoilers. spoilers. <laughs> Sorry, this is sorry. I didn't realise people were watching it in sync. <laughs> <laughs> I should point out we're, this, we have uh, the official commentary, a DVD commentary. Yeah, for absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to point out in this moment. This film is 93 minutes long. Yeah, <laughs> it feel like 93 minutes. Feels like I'm watching Doctor Shivago. Yes, mate. Fucking hell. Yeah, we, with with Babby just kind of hanging around in its cot, Doggo just doing Doggo stuff. Yeah, Dad just being a knob. Uh, women reading magazines and watching, just filling around with pans. Yeah, it do, it feels about two and a half hours. To be fair, yeah, it's just not like, a breezy yeah. two and a half hours. No, it's like not. my special version of the Blair Witch that yeah. only me and Eleanor saw. Yeah, but. it's just this guy being a dick, isn't it? Like the thing with the pans as well. When one of the pans falls down, he's like, "Oh, it's because you didn't hang up on the hook properly." And she's like, "No." Then the pans fell down again. He's like, "Oh, you must have hung up wrong twice." <laughs> Look, if woman. I do it the specific way, it falls down. Yeah, that's not how I did it. There was it. Yeah, but you did. <laughs> you great fucking vagina. And no, I'm not checking the footage. <laughs> I'm tying my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Angry dad. Oh, yeah. oh, I've sat down. I can't get back up again. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, for next night, after some bollocks with the Ouija boards and all that lot. Oh yeah, there's a week. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ouija boards. So actually, yeah, no yeah. horror cliche. Oh, no, I've already had it with the maid, haven't I? I'll give it mine. You want to do it? How are you doing? Ouija yeah. board in a supernatural film. Yeah. yeah. And more specifically, the scene where mm. the Ouija board moves and it's because some dick's doing it on purpose and then it moves again, mm-hmm. but no one's doing it, but no one believes anyone because they've already been tricked once. Yes. Fucking tedious. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and then the, the second time they do the Ouija board, it spells out the baby's name, almost, nearly. Mm. Yeah, but they don't, they just somehow don't twig that. No. No. They just go, uh, Cause H you uh, <laughs> cause the lad's too busy like still laughing at his brilliant pussy joke in, yes, the, mate. Mm. in the fucking moments before yeah, yeah. great well done which is slightly out of character for him considering at this point he didn't actually have any character and I suppose now he still doesn't have any character he's just he's mm. just said pussy well yeah that, I mean that's the problem with the paranormal activity films in general yeah. and I think that's the nature of them is that there's so many scenes where like someone just walks and it's like hi I'm Dave her boyfriend just a little bit of fleshing out of her character. I'm a bit of a jock. Great. So now you know the kind of guy she goes for and what her weaknesses might be. See ya. But her character never ties into that at all. No. She's perfectly rational. Well, sorry, rational. Sensible. And if she went to school or left the house, then she'd probably be quite smart. But, yeah. Uh, she becomes she becomes the fucking like lead, almost, in a sense. Yes. The moral lead. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. And this happens after the Ouija stuff. Uh, she has a bit of a snooze on the setty, and it all goes a bit weird. The TV goes static and such, although you don't weirdly see it from that angle. Yeah. But uh, you get like a weird shadow I hanging like over that. her, which is a, actually probably the best scene of the film, to be fair. It's, it's, yeah. probably, it's definitely up there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and when it starts awake, it all sort of like disappears in a flash. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But she's nice then a, a, attracted to a noise outside. Try to see what it is, and the door slam shut on her, so she's locked oh, outside. Oh no! Um, she gets lured part of the way up the stairs, yeah. and then there's that fucking horrendously nasty bang on the door. Yeah, that's happened about three times now, I think, which does get me every time that noise gets me. Uh, pokes her head out the door, door slams behind her. No one's going to watch the CCTV anyway, don't matter. No. So she's locked out of the house. At which point, I'm quite on board with this sequence. Because mm. now it's just baby and doggo. Yeah, it's, and there's a nice bit of tension here as well. Yeah, for yeah. the first time, I yeah. think we're about forty-five minutes in at this point. Yeah, and the CCTV comes into play because obviously there's no CCTV outside the house apart from the front door. Uh, but because the geography is nicely established, you can tell when she's run around the back and the floodlights come on, 
and she's trying to get in the back sort of thing. Mm. Uh, and all the while, the baby's screaming, doggo's barking. Yeah. And it's it's a nice scene. Yeah. I think no, it's nicely done. Uh, uh, I'm right thinking as well, like, the baby's dragged <coughs> along slightly. Yeah. Along yeah, the car, yeah. but they yeah. don't, don't really go for that time. Yeah. This is, yeah. the, the, the sequence of the baby getting dragged around and up the cot has become pretty iconic. Mm. Yeah. Um, and that shit is fucking spooky. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's no two ways about it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I think because it's quite effective, especially because it's, you know, an, a, a very innocent baby yeah. that's involved. And I think it's I think it's really nice. They've done this a little bit. I kind of agree with you, Dave. I think yeah, it's yeah. probably the best bit of the film or one of them. Yeah, that, the, the whole sequence is is sort of very nice because you, you've, you've taken away Angry Dad... Thank so fuck. now I'm not irritated at the film. Yeah. yeah. You've taken away a uh, pointless mum. Yeah. So I'm not distracted by that. And you've got kind of like your core characters, which unfortunately are a baby, a fucking dog, and the daughter that you're not supposed to be that invested in. No. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and it plays into the geography of the house really well. And it's just a nice sequence. And I wish there was probably twice as much of this. Yeah. Just paced out, spread out a bit better. Yeah. But, yeah. So you got the baby on the like, own, parents got out to the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. New theory on the old Madeleine McCann case. Ooh! Really? They ghosted it. And not the McCanns. <laughs> Could have been the pool cleaner. Ooh, the pool cleaner. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah. beside the pool at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it could have been the same one. Mm-hmm. If you're listening, Portuguese police. <laughs> Look into that shit. <laughs> yes. Um, I realised at this point, there would, there's been something nagging me, aside from the obvious about this film, and I wasn't invested in it. And I figured out why. It's because... In fan footage films, usually, <clears throat> the actors are, are unknowns yep. that you never see ever again or before, yeah, yeah. and that's kind of the effectiveness of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And something was nagging me about the mum. I'd seen her somewhere before, oh, like I, I knew she was an actress, right? and so it was really fucking flustering my shit, mm-hmm. and I realised about this point that she was in, I don't know if you've ever seen a TV series called The Following, with Kevin Bacon. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. yeah she was the she was the sh- annoying as shit reporter in the following. Oh no way! And it, it just sort of clicked in at this point. And I was like, ah, I'm just a little bit out of it now because right. I know she's an, a, a legit actress. Yeah, yeah. But I guess there's not much you can do about that. Really. Wait, wait, wait. You mean this stuff isn't real, then? This is all made oh, up fuck. pretend. That fucking caption lied at the start. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Sorry. It's Wilson. a lie! Wilson's <laughs> wasted the last fucking three weeks of his life investigating this case in the fucking woods in Maryland. <sighs> With newspaper clippings on the wall. Yeah. Nailed to trees. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, Sorry, Hans parents. Sorry. <laughs> Killing Hans. <laughs> <laughs> so many Hans grabbing me. I can't <laughs> kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> so the next day, uh, Ali, I've got her name right, I think, uh, she starts doing a bit of vlogging about what happened last night yes and she finally gets around to check with a DVR and finally convinces dickhead dad to have a look where he goes oh no it was a wind that blew it shot which at that force it'd be a fucking tornado in there yes I don't know what kind of draft is going through that house but yeah, like, yeah. you could probably lean against the wind tell you what mate don't worry about the door slamming go to the camera that's in your baby's room and see it been dragged out of its cot and then it goes downstairs a little bit with mist and opens the fucking spoo- super spooky basement door yes mate yes mate that's the shit you want to be looking out for Absolutely. dickhead dad dad will you look at this tape it is right in front of you your shoes are tied you have no excuse no I don't want to look at it I have so many more shoes to tie downstairs dad it's right in front of you right now all I have to do is press play no, I'm not interested, daughter. All the rest of your shoes are flip flops, Dad. <laughs> it's such a. Uh, this is where I kind of grinded my teeth a bit with the film because it's just like he's got his character motivation, but like common sense just says that. I mean, it's it's literally a foot away from his face. The answer, yeah. <laughs> sort of thing, and I think he does eventually watch it. It's just so contrived, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. So this is... Fucking filth. Yeah. <laughs> Wash your mouth out. Yeah. So then we get to... And this is where it starts to become laughable, the, mm. the cut into the... We're up to night 17 now. Yes, I'm just mate. like, fucking hell, guys. Come on, play the game. <laughs> um, what I will say is, this is another one of my little favourite bits of the film. Mm-hmm. I will never not be freaked out by a kid's toy moving around and doing shit on its own. Oh yeah, fair enough, when it just moves around the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Reminded me of that really good scene from The Conjuring 2 yes, with mate. the uh, fire truck a little yeah, bit. Yeah. 
although it does uh, encourage more night vision as mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, now uh, Ali's vlogging everything now that she's vlogging it would have been nice if she started vlogging at the start of the film to make this a consistent thing and not out of nowhere well I, I, <laughs> <laughs> in her defence although we probably should have started it earlier she now has a stake in the story because she's mm-hmm. been pranked by the ghost and now she's thinking what the hell's going on my dad's a dickhead I better document all this lot yeah, yeah. Yeah. I better get around I, to doing this from a more dynamic handheld perspective that we can use yes. because for six shots I've got a bit boring now yes yeah <laughs> yeah and um, she does a vlog and she does a night vision and then the next day we uh, well we get the <laughs> This fucking creased me in half because <laughs> all the way through it's been like, ooh, something's just happening just over here. Little slam, little thing happening. Mm-hmm. And then literally, the mum's just like boiling the kettle, do 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 do. And then the fucking kitchen just goes <laughs> from fucking nowhere. Yes, mate. Like the ghost going, I'm a fire in my laser. And just <laughs> I'M A FIRE IN MY LASER! <laughs> Shit's all over everything. <laughs> like the ghost is going through the fucking cupboard. Yeah. Turns out Dad's eating all the cheese and onions and it's just like, right, fucking prick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking tie all these shoelaces together, they can no fucking wanker. <laughs> Yeah. There's no cheese and onion. <laughs> I'm amazed she wasn't hurt in this scene, to be honest. It it was very... Uh, Mr. Ghost was very precise when he was opening, where all those cupboards were flying yeah, through. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd, have, I'd have... I mean, I know that, obviously, this isn't the case, because I've, I've been on sets and worked on TV programmes and things, but I'd have loved it if the setup to this, like, when they were filming, it was like... Just, if you just stand on this this X here, love, that's just your... No, 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 everything's fine. I'm just making a boo. You're just making a boo. Just didn't tell the actress and just fucking... <laughs> I'd love to think they did that. Love but to think Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, an actor's actually standing on their mark successfully is... Uh, well, it's too much to risk, isn't it? Not without a fucking two-hour negotiation about whether the mark's in the right place, Dave. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you sit on this chair? No, I want to sit on this one, yeah, but if you do that, the pyro's going to go off your ear. <laughs> Yeah, I want to sit on this chair because it's slightly higher set than the actor opposite me and I want to look like I'm taller than them. No word that just came out of my mouth was made up. No. I have been privy yep. to that conversation on more than one occasion. And then you have a sit down with him and you flip through the script in front of him and you say, looks like you've not got a speaking role. Sit in your fucking chair. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think my character would sit in this chair. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I think your character's a cunt. Yeah. Now sit down. Oh my God. <laughs> I guess that's why I don't work in film. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very vexing experience. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we finally get our fast forward gimmick from the first film introduced for basically no reason, just to get him a fast forward gimmick a bit. Yeah. Yeah, there's no reason to it, no motivation, no payoff, really. No. no. Um, we just <clears> thought, well, this is basically the defining feature of the first film. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you had that scene where I think it was. Uh, the sister whose name I forgot now, let me, Katie, there we go, where she basically stood up for like five hours on end, and all you could like see was her body shaking slightly, because, you know, well, it, body it had a purpose was, in the first one. It did, yes. she was stood there for four hours. This whereas, one is just kind of a dog just moving around a bit. Yeah, well, see, it was just like the dog, I go, <coughs> yeah. just shifting around a bit. Then, so, uh, it stops, and uh, the dog is attracted by a loud noise, mm-hmm. uh, back at the spooky door, uh, it goes back downstairs, but it's then it's drawn over to just a bit off screen where you sort of see a bit of a body, maybe. I think so, yeah. Yeah, and then the, the dog's seriously harmed off screen. Yes, thankfully. I don't, I, I don't never, I'd never like to see a dog get hurt. No, no, no. It's, it's quite savage, this scene, I think. It is, yeah. Quite nasty, because the only thing that is, uh, well, the daughter and the dog are the likeable things so yeah. far. Yeah. It really yeah. got to me a little bit more, <clears> I think. Um, this is because context. Um, I've always been. My dad's always had German Shepherds, mm-hmm. which is the same type of dog as this. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, that's, that's the ex- dog going to the hospital, by yeah, the way. <laughs> going to the dog hospital. That looks exactly like my dad's dog. Exactly like it. Yeah, yeah. And it just puts that little bit of extra sauce on it for me. Yeah, yeah. 
but if the purpose of uh, getting the doggo out of the house along with mm -hmm. dickhead dad and uh, our investigative daughter is so <laughs> uh, Christy's uh, left on her own with a baby yes and uh, Christy you have to like sit on the stairs for like six billion hours yes she goes check on it and suddenly she's, she's dragged out by the ghost all yeah. the way down the stairs through the kitchen and basemented it, in, it, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It, fucking it, hell in, in the basement with you yeah and <laughs> at this point there were sort of teasers before that uh, Christy like lost her mind before you know yeah yeah she's had a few like mental illness issues yeah yeah and now she's gonna go full on batshit insane yeah yeah uh, basically a, a 6.5 on the exorcist scale <laughs> yeah yeah and um quite like this sequence I mean, yeah I, we get the fast forward gimmick again to show that she's been in the base for what was it three four hours yeah so something like that yeah just reappears casually like Hoo, do, 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 do. yeah away she goes yeah and she, <laughs> she she sort of walks out in the same way as I walked after our uh, big night out in pop world with big rich a few weeks ago I was <laughs> much the same luck was going on with me the next day yeah yeah um, and then we get a little sequence of the daughter coming back to the house and this is probably my favourite little bit of the film Ooh. I would say yeah where she's sort of she's doing her like vlogging yeah and she's like going towards the room where the mum is and the mum's sat in, you can see the mum's legs sat in a chair yeah and she sort of fucks about and like the door blocks her for a second and then she like moves the camera back around and the chair's empty. Yeah, yeah. Mm. At which point stuff is really fucking wrong. Yeah. Would actually leave the house. Yeah. It's only taken yeah. us an hour to get to this point. Yeah. But it's, it's getting pretty spooktacular mm. at the minute. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there's also... She checks the door into the basement and see there's now like scratch marks with like blood around it. Yep. Slightly shave air, but... Mm. Yeah, yeah. Again, it, it shows nice and spooky. Struggle. Yeah, sort of yeah. Thing. you would shit yourself though, wouldn't you? And it does look like something's written yeah, yeah. on the door, but you can't really figure out what it is, which always annoys me. Yeah, yeah. No need for that. I, either, I yeah. think I made out. I think you said DVR, but you know, just ignored <laughs> again. Yeah. <laughs> and is also uh, Ali sees as a bite mark. Oh no! This is when oh, this is the bit. Yeah, this is the same the bit you're on about. Mark, yeah, 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 there's yeah. like a nice nom 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 mark on <laughs> on her leg, which is yeah. a rehash from the first one, I think. A yeah, nom, I think nom so. Mark on the leg, yeah, 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 yeah. which is, is kind of fine because it's the same demon, same family, well, sisters doing the same thing. Yeah, makes kind sense. Of, it ties yeah. in all right, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, that, that's the tagline for a film, isn't it? Paranormal Activity Two, doing the same thing. Doing the yeah. same yeah. thing. It ties in all right, I suppose. <laughs> So, yeah. What happens then, Willie? We. Well, uh, yeah, Ali's left on her own because Dickhead Dad finally has to go to work for once. Oh, fucking oh, hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How for fucking the convenient. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And. Uh, right, I've tied my shoes. It's only taken me 19 days. Yeah. Got them all tied. Bit hot today. Gonna rock the flip flops, though. Yeah. yeah. He's going to, to go. his job at the shoelace factory. <laughs> yeah. And. <laughs> A, a, a a tester. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a really fucking dumb dad. <laughs> oh, I don't know. They thought it was a seizure. No. She's never had one before, ever. And she was making this noise. Ellie. Hey, I gotta call you back, okay? I'm really sorry to do this to you. I'm sorry for that time. There's something wrong with Christy. Okay, I can't get her out of bed. What's, what's wrong with her? I don't know. I'm gonna grab her from corporate. I'm gonna put him off for weeks. I can't blow him off. Okay, okay. please listen to me. Can I Sweetie, no, I need you to stay here. Okay? And I'll come home when you come home. Wait, I know this sucks. I do, I know. Okay, I know you're freaked out, and I'm really sorry. I'll be there for like two hours, all right? And I have to pick up Abby, okay? Please. I'm oh, sorry, okay? <laughs> call me, I'll be like two hours. If anything's wrong, just call me, I'll be right here, okay? okay. I just cannot miss this today. Thank you, okay? All right, don't worry. Lock the door behind me, okay? Uh, Christie's basically uh, say half catatonic and half every time uh, Ali tr tries to even approach her baby uh, she goes well a bit yeah, yeah. my house <laughs> <laughs> bill 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 Due to this behaviour that uh, Ali gets the uh, dickhead dad back to the house where he finally looks at the DVR yeah. and sees that the footage from the night before her being dragged along 
into a basement. And this how is... fake shocked does he look? Oh, fuck me. Put your hand on your mouth, right? Open your eyes. Oh. <laughs> Joe That's the fucking... I, do you think he's in on it with the ghost? I, I, because I, I, his reaction as well is to go, oh, Martina warned me about this. Best get her back. It's like, you've known what's been going on all along. So. Yeah, you're a fucking douche. Yeah. It reminds it, me... It's literally your family, though. What the fuck yeah, are you doing? Yeah. It reminds me so much... Uh, have you seen? Have you both seen the film The Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah. No, no. Go on. Though. All right. It, it, it reminds me so much of Leonardo DiCaprio's dad's character in that <laughs> film, where there's there's a scene basically where he's describing his dad, who like is flies off the handle at the slightest little thing, mm-hmm. and then he like reverts to having a fake posh British accent whenever he's talking to one, and it cuts to him in his house, and he's sitting down, to, like literally just sits down to watch a TV show, and the phone rings, and he goes. Who the fuck is fucking <laughs> ringing this house? Motherfuckers, I'm going to fucking cut the fucking head off and shit down the neck. And he answers to him and goes, Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Just do this twat reminds me of <laughs> So, Martina's back in the house with her incense sticks. Yep. Wafting it around. Just wafting it around, muttering yeah. to herself. Yep. And uh, Bad Dad's all on board at this point, isn't he? He is, yeah. Like, so what are you doing now? It's like, well, I'm trying to get the spirits. Like, oh, cool, cool, cool. Do you want a sandwich or anything? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then he has, he's a, he has a chat over the sitch with the maid, mm-hmm. and he decides that being a massive cunt, <laughs> <laughs> he decides that the best way to handle this is not like an exorcism, like anyone else would have a bash yeah, at the yeah, situation. Yeah. It would be much better and easier, and probably cheaper, and involve less shoe tying to just transfer it to a sister. Yeah, I mean, what a cunt. Yeah. What a fucking cunt. Is that a conscious decision he makes? I can't remember. Yeah, because that's the, that's the setup, isn't it? That's why they do Probably the... Probably does, yeah. He's, he, 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 like, goes to talk uh, talk to her and try and do something without, then it suddenly just goes a bit... Well, schizo. It, it goes a bit schizo, everything goes dark. And yeah. then we're into the actual bit of the film where stuff is happening. Yeah, he has the he has the I know it's found footage guys, but he has the fucking world's worst shot fight with the fucking demon in the basement. Yeah. Where I cannot tell a that fucking single fucking thing that cack. happened. Mm. And I thought he died in that sequence. I did, I did as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, in fact so well, he goes down to the basement with that uh, the shitty night vision, you know. It's yeah. basically imagine Blair Witch like one of those fucking like uh, Films about like yeah, well zero dark thirty, you know, but that whole yeah, yeah, yeah. sequence yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, towards the end. Imagine yeah. the combination of the two, but like <laughs> done for about five quid. <laughs> uh, he, d- down into the basement, looks because um, to establish as well, uh, the baby's gone missing. You know, mm. where's he gone? And where did he go? Ooh, where did he go? <laughs> where did he go? It <laughs> he, he goes into the basement and it comes across. Well, a manifestation of a demon, which is a creepy-looking thing with teeth, who basically yeah. attacks him right away, and, you know, it's a total squash match, you know. It, it is it, a squash match, it, it, It's down yeah, in yeah. five seconds. Yes, mate. He is demon the, and Nicholas in yeah. the basement. Just, yeah. uh, <laughs> he is the Gilberg of this scenario, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. He is the uh, Brooklyn Brawl of uh, Barry yeah. Horowitz. <laughs> <laughs> you see something in the basement. I can't entirely figure out what it was. Boxes. Boxes, lots of boxes, lots of shit from his job, but who knows what it yeah. is, shoelaces. Uh, and it's just a little kid, like, mooching around in front of the camera, just like, oh, yeah, this is all jolly. This so is the all right. f- Fucking, the logic of this film, it's like, the ch- ca- child cries at everything, all the way through the film. Mm-hmm. And then when it's going mental in the basement, there's a demon there with teeth, it's just like, do-do-do-do-do, not crying uh, today. Uh. <laughs> well, here's a theory, then, because uh, the baby's already checked out the basement and such, yep. has it been possessed? Does what a the, baby. Yeah, does, does that explain the ending spoiler with Katie? But can can two beings be possessed by the same demon at the same time? Nope. I don't think it's been possessed. I no, think, I think like, it it's just uh, every time it sees the demon, it just seems to chill out a bit. Yeah. Because there's mm-hmm. that sequence earlier where they're trying to play with a baby with toys and shit, and it's just like, Ooh, just kind of mugging out, looking yeah. around the room. Yeah. So. Plus, it's dad's getting killed. Yeah. Mm. He's probably quite happy about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Anyway, so the world's shittest fight fucking ends, mm-hmm. and like you guys, I thought he'd been tagged out here. Than <clears> that. <throat> yeah. yeah, and it just cuts to the next morning, and he's sat there, not even particularly battered. No. no. 
burn, finishing his uh, transference of the demon to the sister yep. by burning that picture. Yeah, a bit, uh, bit of a prayer. But he just seems so chilled out, like, yeah, it's fine. You know, it's like... <laughs> It's like it's like he's he's the same kind of reflective as I am when I go out for two pints and end up having seven and getting a bit pickled. The next morning I'm like, Phew. it was a bit of a rough one, but you know it was my own fault. <laughs> we're eating them out. We're yeah. all right. Exactly. Hey, Amy, you got any pictures of your sister we can burn? <laughs> yeah, just out of interest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, then three weeks later, more pools, more. Barbecues, more doggos. Everyone's happy. happy. Uh, Kate is, uh, yeah. you know, everything's back to normal, I guess. Or, or is it? Or is it? Because, <laughs> you know, don't forget that her Kate's boyfriend died 60 days after the Tarantino caption came up. Oh, yeah, so Mika, the walking camera. Yep, so. Essentially a first person shooter character. <laughs> <laughs> so that bit in Doom. Yeah. Where there's fucking like <laughs> weapons flying around everywhere. Yes, it's like mate. first person. Brilliant. But with half the character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we skip forward in time to the following October, like 40 days later. Halloween. And in comes Katie and tags out Dickhead Dad. Yes. Nice crazy done. mum. Really nicely done, the dad kill. I, 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 I like a big a, fan. I like a silent but deadly kill. Yeah, yeah. He's just sat there watching Togger, isn't he? Yeah. All sprawled out. He's man spreading on that sofa. Yeah. yeah. Just being as obnoxious as possible. Yeah. Having just passed a demon to someone. He's like, ooh, everything's all right now. Don't have to go back to work for another year. Also, they oh! Now, I'm not one for capital punishment, but he fucking deserved it. He did deserve he did it just deserve for being a yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then beautiful. It's like yeah, he's like a savage a, neck snap. Yeah, yeah, she just picks him up. Done, donk. See mm, you later. Done. Back of a yeah, set. Here you go. Coming. Yeah, and then up, upstairs she goes uh, where where her mum is with uh, one of her baby, mm-hmm. and yeah. it's a good old shove right in just below the camera. So, yes. Yeah, it's the power hand. She kills her with the power hand. It's a classic Steven Seagal finisher. That, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah. the one. With the one hand palm strike, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the uh, the five point heart punch from Kill Bill or whatever it is, absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty. It's a pretty fucking mint scene, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it absolutely annihilates her. Babby's fine now. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it, she walks away with a Babby. Yeah, and according to our FBI slash documentary slash bullshit caption, yeah, uh, they haven't been seen since. Yep. And apparently Ali, who isn't seen for like the last 10 minutes of the film, 10, 15 minutes, she returned over the next day to see her parents were a little bit dead. Once you're on a fucking school trip or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Just, oh. just unnecessary cliche detail as well. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't have just put daughter returned two days later to find the bodies. Had to be daughter returned from a school trip. Unnecessary. Maybe she was staying with her boyfriend, <coughs> that would have been more believable. Yeah. Because that's already been set up. Well, there was a whole lot of it, it, it wasn't a bit where she kept like staying at someone else's house as well. She was trying to. She, she was trying yeah. to, yeah. Was yeah. It, it? It would didn't like keep getting the name wrong, and so I'm just trying to find so. She was trying to stay at the boyfriend's house, yeah, yeah. and like constantly ringing him, but he's yeah. a bit of a bell end. But yeah, they went for school trip. We went for school trip, yeah. yeah. Dull. <laughs> Instead of like, yeah, she would turn like literally two hours <clears> later, <throat> yeah. Where it was all still like, well, there was like blood gushing everywhere, maybe. <laughs> Can I ask? Now we're at the uh, concluding point here. Yep. Um, I thought, like, as I said earlier, I thought that it was the third film that I'd seen mm-hmm. than the first one, but it wasn't. It was the first two. Mm-hmm. So no one's seen the third one? Yeah. What d- Does this does this arc continue with the baby in there? Uh, no. Uh, no, I think it does. I, I think there's one film where they try and season of a witch it a bit. It's the, hey, it's I'm, I'm number three. Doing something else. Number three is where they season the witch, and it's yeah. a different family, different bloodline. Right. Uh, but it's two sisters. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. It's uh, it's. Oh, the, might it's be the, the sisters one. when they're kids. I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure something it might like be. Fir- yeah, I think the third one is a prequel. Then I think the fourth. Yes, because goes and shot on VHS, else. isn't it? Yeah, I yeah, saw yeah. I saw a really fucking shit random one. I think it was called. The marked ones, marked or ones, yeah, 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 where it was completely different people, yeah, and yeah. there was a portal in a wall, and it was all very strange. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the third one, I think, takes it in a slightly new direction, and it's therefore slightly better. Right. Uh, there's a lovely bit on it because they don't have CCTV back then, yeah. so at one point they um, they gaffer tape 
a VHS camera to the top of a, a room fan that moves left to right so it nice. patterns on a rhythm nice Beautiful. and it's quite nice because you've got right and left and stuff going on in different frames it's really Good. nice I do recommend you have a go on that one yeah I might give it a try the witchy stuff can just fuck off the witches and the demons are just like oh, dull fucking it. That <laughs> dull dull shite yeah but uh yeah that was Paranormal Activity 2 then a lot of stuff happened I, I don't know how we managed to fit it all in in just over an hour <laughs> one hour one minute that's yeah. with fluff at the start as well which yeah. is goings <laughs> yeah <laughs> hopefully I've got about like 15 minutes of in and out like the SAS absolutely like the Iranian embassy siege yes ding ding done yeah just mm-hmm. infinitely more dull as far as references go that's pretty I don't even, not even niche it's just random thank you mm-hmm. <laughs> it means a lot <laughs> so uh, shall I start well, how are we all Do feeling you, about it? In some yeah, way? Let, yeah, let's because we can pad this out a tiny little yeah. bit longer. The Blair Witch Two review is like three hours long, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel well. Yeah, I mean, we did have an entire bottle of rum in the time that we're yeah, recording we. that. <laughs> Anyhow, which we haven't this morning because it's like nine o'clock. Wilson, it's your choice. Yeah, how do you feel about what you done did? I thought. Well, I, I, I sort of liked the final twenty minutes of it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Other than that, it's everything I remembered the first film being as well. Because bear in mind, I hadn't, I hadn't seen the second one until mm-hmm. the, this one. I think Do you like the first film? Uh, it was okay, mm-hmm. but again, there was just so much filler. Yeah. And the, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't know how to do it, but there's just they don't know how to transition from one scary scene to the next. So there's all sorts of like little things in between that have absolutely no relevance, yeah, and yeah, it's just. Yeah. A bit dull, and it is just basically a ghost going, ooh, for bah! yeah. It, well, well, it's it goes, ooh for now and fifteen minutes, and bah for fifteen minutes towards <laughs> the end. It's yeah, yeah. It's I didn't outwardly hate it. It, it was mm-hmm. fine, like Jeepers Creepers three. It's just like I watched it. It's just there in the air. Can't, it's a thing that happened. Can't unwatch it. Mm-hmm. I'll move on with my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. How are you two feeling about it? Rob? it well. Um, I think it was really, really fucking dull up until the last 25 minutes. Um, I think it was unintentionally hilarious in parts. <laughs> like, the bit with the fucking bit with the pool cleaner gets me every time. Yeah. The bit where... Lobster sh- dad. Yeah, <laughs> knobhead dad. The bit where everything explodes in the kitchen out of nowhere gets me every time. Um, the bit where whenever anything happens in this house even if it's like a door slamming or a pan falling over everyone's reactions are so over the top yeah, yeah. like it's like they've just been shot in the fucking <laughs> leg basically um, it, it is it, like Wilson says it, it, it is what it is it's literally copy and paste in the first mm-hmm. film in a different house yeah, yeah. you know um, and that's that's quite lazy filmmaking oh yeah 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 it, it didn't do what Blair Witch 2 did and just like yeah I mean say different. what you will about Blair Witch 2 but it did something different. It's it, not copy a pasta, is it? No, and it was no. entertaining. Mm-hmm. How about you? What do you think? I think it's shit. <laughs> did enjoy it, though. <laughs> did you enjoy it throughout, or did you enjoy it in certain parts? Uh, well, like with, like with the first... Well, when I watched the first one, I realised that this is something that only works in a cinema environment. Yeah, when you're in a dark room, the screen fills your vision and it's loud as shit. Yeah, it's like like I was saying, it's like the Dracula experience. Yeah, or like a haunted house or something like that. It's not particularly well crafted, well made, well acted, well well anything. It's lowest common denominator, isn't it? It is. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, but on what it's actually trying to do, which I think is just this basic bitch stuff or basic bastard stuff, sorry, uh, is just make you jump. Yeah. Mm. doesn't necessarily give me the dreads or the creeps the first one gave me a little bit of the creeps because I thought that was better paced um, but I had my sound cranked up real high uh, and obviously every time the demon I don't know what you guys watched it on but every time the, there's a demon thing going on there's just kind of like this really sick rumble Yeah, yeah. And like every time it came on I've got coffee cups rattling across my desk <laughs> yeah. and shit because it's that loud and I, I watched thought, it no on... no I can uh, go on. sorry mate you carry on I was going to say I can, I can totally get on board with what this is trying to do Mm. Yeah, uh, it's trying to give me give me a, a jump scare and take my money. Do you think um, it's one of those that works a lot better just in the cinema? Oh, well, unless you're set up like you are, uh, with I think the it, rumbles and it's a lot more of a sound as well. I think it works 
it works perfectly well in home cinema, mm. and I didn't have the lights out, and it was perfectly fine. Yeah. Uh, I think if you watch it by yourself, it's quite effective in that environment. Yeah. And I think if you watch it with people that are all on board, it works as well. Yeah. Um, you just kind of need to take it as it is, and not look too deeply into it. Mm. And yeah. it was the same with the third one. Um, it has its moments of just like really well well done stuff yeah. within its own little formula and what it's made for itself because it is essentially it's its own formula. Yeah, I wouldn't say this is just found footage. I think it's no for it, sure. It's yeah, its own yeah. little thing. Yeah, almost uh, like a subgenre. Yeah, but I find them if you can really focus on it and you have to fucking focus. Yeah, as soon as you get distracted and look at your phone, you're just not interested. No, mm. you just uh, go straight. You away, have to yeah. put the effort in. Um, I think it can reward you and it can give you some nice adrenaline rushes. I was I was on board most of the film. Yeah. Because I've just invested so much in it. You know, I had my teddy bear on my pillows and stuff. I was just like... Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I watched it on um, on <coughs> the Chris Medium, the Chris Wilson Medium, which is, of course, Netflix. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> and it was HD, which is fine. Mm-hmm. I can't help but feeling that the Paranormal Activity films and the films of their ilk... Yeah. would be best served on VHS. Yeah, um, just to kind of like tap into the phenomenon of... Yeah, and also just because... Uh, that tape hiss, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, And also, like, it's all a bit too clinical in HD, because it's supposed yeah, yeah. to be security cam footage and yeah, camcorder yeah. footage. I just think it, that that natural grain of VHS would probably yeah. work. Have you ever seen something like Ghost Adventures or Ghost Hunters? Uh, I think I mean, I've seen something called Ghost for the TV series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, both quite drastically different. Ghost Adventures is very much sort of a lot of it is rigged. Yeah, uh, <laughs> for the spook factor, but that relies on its graininess and but it has post sound design and post effects put in. Yeah, um, and because it's so grainy and it's all handheld, it's it's again if you focus on it, it's very immersive stuff. This is way too clean, and because of that, you're not entirely sure where you're supposed to sit in the spectrum mm. like is this big production or is it just shitty CCTV cameras yeah and because of that you're kind of taken out of it it's just a bit too sterile yeah and that yeah. really comes into play more in the sequels like that marked ones <laughs> film that I saw where it's got like this fucking CGI portal going on and this uh, but it's, and it's still like found footage and I'm like fucking shit I'll get off the pot guys be one or the other yeah 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 like, that's my take. Yeah. Uh, shall I start doing out with turds and popcorn then? Yep, get your shovel, Willie. Yeah, uh, Dave first, turds, popcorn. Turds, I'm going to go with a solid six, to be honest. Quite turdy. Quite turdy. I think the bits that, um, the bits that are good are a decent payoff. They reward quite nicely, to be honest. And I was quite satisfied by the end. It was alright. It's not good. Mm. <laughs> uh, popcorn. Eight. Mm. Whoa! For me, it's a yeah. bit, bit high. Like, say, like say, I had, to, I had to really work hard to invest myself in it, but the experience paid off. It's like the Blair Witch too. It wasn't. It's not a good film, but like the experience I had around it was. It was good fun, mm. uh, and I got an experience out of it, even if it is shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, okay then, uh, yep. Rob. Uh, same thing, but probably a bit more disgust in your voice. Yeah, similar. Um, I think on the turds, I am going to go Ooh. with Dave on six. Okay, yeah, yeah. Fair play, fair play. Um, it is, it is, it is. You know, considerably turdy. <laughs> um, I, I don't think we can get around that. It's up to its waist and turds, just over. But yeah. one height with six. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's yeah. it's just because it's so on the nose with every single possession movie cliche imaginable. Yep. It's just a a, a fucking. <laughs> it's a treacherous fucking experience to get through. <laughs> At ninety three minutes, it's it's yeah. fucking slog, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Popcorns. This it, it is the very definition of average, <laughs> and it has a really good last twenty five minutes. And because of its painfully average nature, yeah. I'm going to go for a painfully middle of the road five. Okay, guess not mm-hmm. the point, it's yeah. um, it was it was it was it was hovering around the three three point five marker. Yeah, up until the last twenty five minutes, where I thought at least. Gave you something. It gave Bring you some bang for your buck. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm. How about you, Willie? Well, um, 
Turds go for a six as well. Six, yeah. six, six. Oh, oh, fucking oh. hell. Um, yeah, it, it was what it was. I was bored for the most part. It's, you can't really say it's a well-made film or anything like no, that. No, no. But it was okay. And I'm giving Rob as well on the popcorn rating on a five because... Mm-hmm. It was. What it was. Yeah. It was. It, it was. It was in every sense average. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's. But you've not murdered it like I thought you were going to do. No, it was. It was average activity too. Shit. Ooh. <laughs> I I was ready to Paranormal murder it activity. until those final twenty five minutes, and I think yeah. when they finally had a bit of connective tissue, they could string the scenes together. It yeah, actually yeah. interested me. It's a shame they have never really found a way to keep that interest up over like the course mm-hmm. of a 90 minute film yeah yeah that sort of genre yeah 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 Shame. well there well, we go then boys is yeah. it reaching the point where I'm the only one that's picked his next film or is everyone else no I'm sorry mate unfortunately sorry. for you guys I, I thought of mine about five minutes ago I can't remember what year yeah. the film was made or anything like that but I'll give it a go <laughs> well I'm going in huge Oh, are, we we go. Go, are we going divisive? Are we going good? Are we going terrible? We're going divisive. Ooh. We're going top tier. And we are going for one of the films that inspired my idea for this podcast in the first place. Oh, yeah. Because I wanted to engage with you in particular, Dave. Yeah, In okay. a debate on this film. Okay, it's probably not going to be what I think it is, but go on. It's remake. Yep. Oh. It's Zack Snyder's 2004 yes, is, Dawn mate. of the Dead, mate. Yes, it is, mate. I <laughs> thought that would come up eventually. Yeah, I was yeah. going to pick that at some point, but yeah. I was just... I was waiting for you. Oh, yeah. mate, I'm, I'm so waiting excited. waiting for Because it gets... I like it slightly more every time I watch it. I know. So we yeah, shall yeah. see what happens next. Yeah. A big, shiny remake. Have you seen Indeed. it yet, Willie? Yes, I have, yeah. 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 I, I watched it at Rob's house, like... I think... I'm sure we were filming something <coughs> at uni. That's, yeah. Was it? It is the OK magazine of remakes. Yes. It's glossy and shiny. Yes. And it's in a special edition box. Snyder's best film. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> I think you'll find that Owls of Gahol is... Uh, is oh, okay. oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget about the Owls. Yeah. The Owls of Gonads, was it? So what are you going to hit us with, Dave? I'm a bit worried about this. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, get out of your system. Get out of my system. OK, right. So we're going to go... Um, well, it's an interesting one. It's uh, it's a suggestion from Eleanor because mm-hmm. I've got some good ones banked, and after this, I'm just gonna like flush out all my good ones that I've had stocked up. Okay, so the Amityville Horror remake, <coughs> right? Is not what we're going for. Oh fucking hell! It's Amityville Horror Four. <laughs> <laughs> Secret of the haunted lamp that kills people. <laughs> the Farquhar, never seen it. <laughs> yes, mate. I've never seen it, but she tells me that. Well, she tried to explain it to me in between just bouts of hysterics and hyperventilating. Like, it's about a lamp <laughs> that fucking kills people. <laughs> 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 and then they buy the lamp and it kills the kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> so apparently, it's an absolute banger. It's a rip roaring time of uh, just all sorts of brass and glass kicking ass. Nice. And we have to dredge the very bowels of Amazon for that one, I fear. <laughs> Is it on Netflix? I have no idea. I wouldn't have thought so, Willie. You might have to buy it. Oh, fuck's sake. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so which widely available on Netflix film have you picked next, Wilson? I, I, I've not even <laughs> said, I, I, I've literally thought of this about uh, four or five minutes ago. And Uh-oh. I think it's time we went a bit more classic no. with uh, a film trying choice. to guide the direction again. This no. week we're modern. This week we're classic. <laughs> <laughs> this week it's a modern classic. I am the navigator. <laughs> well, I, I tried doing. Uh, I tried picking films for a view count, but then fucking Mummy Returns is our most popular episode, so I don't know. <laughs> I just still sorry. cannot believe. Just fucking sat there being sour. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, so I've got no idea what to think anymore. I don't know what our audience thinks. <laughs> fuck it. Uh, I think we're gonna go with the. Uh, Hammer Hover Dracula. Oh, nice. Yes. 1965? No, it's two, 50s. Three? Is it? Is that one as early as I 50s? think it's 58. Frank oh, wow. Stein was the first one they did. Yeah. I think it's I think it's 58, dude. Right. And it's called uh, Blood of Dracula and other territories, I think. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's a well, I think we watched that confusion. in film studies with 
Shelton. Yeah, Shelton. I think yeah, we did some years ago. Yeah, like, here's a tomb, colour blood! Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. yes. <sighs> well, that's quite exciting. Yes. Yeah. Uh, don't like that one, but. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say it's about the time I picked a good one, but. <laughs> Here comes Dave with his spicy take on the Hammer Horror Dracula. Uh, uh, Christopher Lee's alright, isn't he, to be fair? Yeah. Yeah. Never mo- never one to be typecast after Dracula. No. Simon no. Count Dooku. Yeah. Not at all. So that's a spicy selection there. That is. It is. That is a spicy selection. It's a nice mix. I think we've covered, um. We've covered noughties, eighties, and, uh. Fifties. Classy. Yes. Yeah. It's a pretty good rangé. Yeah, it is. I think it's it the is. oldest film we're doing so far, isn't it? That, yeah. That don't yes. have gone that far back. Yeah, no. we haven't no, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nice one. Well, um, I guess it's me to do the goodbye. <laughs> so uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, do all that subscribe and bullshit. You know I'll do it. Give us five stars on iTunes. I don't... We'll have to talk them through it. I don't think they're not. I, I, I don't yeah. fucking... Dave, yeah, anyway. Dave will explain it at the end in the bit we pipe in. Yeah. I don't know how you take pictures of podcasts, but we're going to do it anyway. It, 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 the same bit we've been using for like 20 episodes now. I think it's fine. Works. Does the job. I'll just we're, make a different intro for every fucking episode, shall yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Don't yeah, do that, Dave. God damn it. Yeah, don't you do get that. your fucking keyboard out. <laughs> we, we don't even use, hardly use the Facebook page. It's fucking useless now since they've <laughs> changed all the algorithms. It's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put a turn on to boost this post. Oh, we got an extra view. Great. Yeah, don't boost your post, mate. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, this start, it started off as quite a punchy hour podcast. Now Wilson's into his diatribe about Facebook. We could be here the rest of the day. <laughs> Max Zuckerberg, kiss my trumps. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> what the, what the fuck? fuck? There's teddy bears in here, man. <laughs> Sorry, cuddly panda. <laughs> Sorry, cuddly dragon. Cuddly dragon. Uh, is that yes. your desk? Is that a teddy bear? Uh, it's actually a teddy bear. That's so. a mogwai, yeah. That's my teddy bear who's with me through paranormal activity. That is adorable. Yeah, yeah. it is. Anyway, it's uh, <laughs> so uh, goodbye to you, Dave. Goodbye. Goodbye really? to you, Rob. See you later. And from me, it's. Ah, my groin! I need to tie my laces, come on. <laughs> so, so, sorry, dickhead Rob, you're gonna walk around forever with no shoes. <laughs> no, just barefoot. Bye! <laughs>get you can follow us and keep up with all our updates at cinemortuary on twitter forward slash uh on facebook and of course at cinemortuary on instagram i don't know how you do pictures of podcasts but we're going to do that anyway 